Hey guys, how's it going? Today we're going to do a tutorial, uh, another 2D top-down tutorial on how you can set up a Cinemachine camera that will follow your player throughout the 2D world. Now there's other ways to do this with scripting and uh, moving the camera or moving it around, but this is by far the easiest way to have a camera set up uh, using the new Cinemachine to do this for you and uh, actually set up your game to add a lot of other options if you ever want in the future like camera shake, panning, uh, stuff like that, uh, multiple scenes or multiple camera views. Uh, but we're going to go right into it. Basically I'm going to show you what I have set up currently. Um, so I'm going to put a pop up here in the video uh, so you can see what it looks like. Uh, I have a basic controller, character controller set up and a sprite, no animations. And uh, I'll just show you the simple, uh, this is not the one, sorry. The simple controller script here that just uses uh, vectors and updating position based on keys. So super simple. If you want to pause it and write that down, you can. Uh, basically just allows you to move the player around. And I'll show you what the player looks like here. I just literally took a square with a sprite render and put an image over it uh, for this example. So super simple. Um, you can use this with whatever player you want, but that's how we're going to do it, right? Uh, and for ease sake, we'll, we'll rename it player. Uh, so when we do things with the camera, it's easier to tell. Uh, so what you're going to want to do is come into uh, Window, Package Manager, and you're going to want to find Cinemachine. Now, if it, you don't have stuff showing up here, you, you might be in Project or My Assets. You want to go to Unity Registry to grab this and then install it. Now this is going to install the package for you automatically. It's going to retrieve them, uh, compile it, and then you're going to have that ready to go inside your Unity Editor. And uh, once it is set up, it's going to uh, be really easy to do, right? So now we have this in here. You don't see it, but you don't see it yet, but there's a really cool thing we can do now. Uh, oops, we don't want to do that. Uh, let me see if I can remember how to do this. Uh, I think, oh, it's right here. So then all you need to do is going to add this new menu that you didn't have here before. So you're just going to create a virtual camera. It's going to do that automatically, right? And you'll see it applied it to your main camera, right? And then you have all these options over here under this virtual cam. So you can rename this as you want. I don't. I just leave it as it is. And uh, what we're going to want to do is follow the player. So already, just by doing this, you should see, uh, like, instantly. I mean, you can't tell. There is a little uh, panning here, uh, padding, which we can change. Uh, so it kind of makes your character look weird in the, wor in the world. Uh, but basically, if we were to stick uh, this guy here... I'll show you just for example how you can tell we're moving through the world. There you go. So we're moving through the world and uh, the camera's following us, right? So good. We got that done. Now, to remove that other stuff, if you don't want that damp, it's called dampening. So uh, your aim can be here. There's different stuff you can use. Uh, but uh, I, I forget a hard look at um, I think you can put this at nothing actually. Let me see when you do that. I forget. Yeah, I think nothing is fine. I don't know if we're still getting dampening, but the dampening is here. So I like to turn this off for my games and that just kind of makes it, it doesn't get a delay. You know what I mean? So now it's like hard follow. It's following your character and, uh, you know, it looks smooth. I mean, you can play with this. If you do want these effects, you'll be able to notice them. Uh, somewhat. Uh, it, it just like gives the camera a little bit of lag in the direction you're going. So I mean, it's all based on like what kind of camera style you want to have. You know what I mean? And uh, there's there's tons of other stuff you can do. Uh, in here too. Uh, that's not what you want. You can turn it. I'm trying to think uh, where the. Uh, sorry, I'm. The orthographic size uh, is what zooms you in and out. So if you go over to your game and you mess with this, uh, if you want to be like further out, bird's eye view, 
you can even make settings in the game that like you can go behind the character and stuff like that so there's a bunch of cool effects you can do with that it all depends on what you're trying to do with the game and also like also stuff over here here's your Perlin noise if you want to do shakes if you want to add extensions you can do that but um, basically that that's all there is to it so like a quick five minute tutorial on how to make uh, uh, camera that will follow your player. If you guys like these tutorials, please hit the thumbs up and subscribe. And uh, yeah, we'll see you in the next video. And be sure to check out our dev devlogs to, so you can see what we're uh, using these this art in. But uh, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.